Hello, I'm Nathan Robertson. I'm the editor of Current Affairs magazine. This is the magazine. I just wanted to say hello to you, our subscribers, our readers, our video followers, and I wanted to introduce you to what I think will be our new video series in which I break down the news into little pieces and in which we sort of take apart ideas and we think about which ideas are bad ideas and which ideas are good ideas and uh, I'm gonna talk to some very interesting people, hopefully. That's how I think it's gonna work. I am uh, <laughs> out of New Orleans. The current affairs offices, as I said in my previous video, uh, have been closed since the onset of the crisis because New Orleans is a hotspot for COVID-19. Uh, we don't know when current affairs magazine offices are going to open again, so I am in a makeshift current affairs uh, headquarters elsewhere. Um, and thus far, it's getting the job done, but we'll see if the magazine gets out. But I wanted to use this opportunity to encourage you to subscribe to the beautiful print edition of Current Affairs. Current Affairs is online, but we are also in print, and our print edition is our flagship. Uh, this is a cat smoking a cigarette. The print edition is beautiful, it's colorful, it's uh, chock full of content of all kinds. It's not just serious articles with political analysis, though it does have much of that. It's also comics, puzzles, games. This uh, is one of our most recent issues. This is the November 20, uh, December 29 19 issue and if you flick through it you will find I don't know if I can flick through it if you flick through it you will find that it contains all manner of wonders this is our actual latest issue this is the January February if you go through this you'll find for example uh, you'll find lots of um, uh, little letters to the editor and little comments on various things there's stuff about sing-along, stuff about birds, stuff about spiders, uh, lots of animal-based content. Oh, in every issue I do a table of contents, I make this. I do a diorama showing the uh, articles, with each article has an object that represents uh, that article for that issue. If in this issue, for example, I did uh, soda bottles, where each article in the issue is represented by a soda bottle. So every time you get a print edition of Current Affairs, you get a cool 3D diorama table of contents. And then, if you open up the actual content of the magazine, this is an article about uh, Jeff Bezos's plans for the future. Amazon, that's by me. I write for the print magazine. You'll find uh, nifty, uh, like, little... Uh, I don't even know what to call these, but the sort of imitations of children's activity books. This is one uh, which is about what would happen if the ideology of Steven Pinker met the world of Richard Scarry, who did the Busy Town books. This is a defense of laziness. You might be lazy, I'm kind of lazy, and this is about why that's good. The next article is about a Korean reality show called The Genius. Fantastic article, worth reading. We have uh, what the 2020 candidates will do after dropping out so you can find out what John Hickenlooper is up to now. This is an article about how capitalism became an actual religion. So there's tons of stuff. There's comics. Uh, this is a comic by Matt Lubchansky, who's a fantastic cartoonist. All of the comics are topical. Uh, we have parodies of New Yorker cartoons because, you know, uh, people read The New Yorker for the cartoons, so we figured people would read our magazine if we put New Yorker cartoons in it. So it's got some of those, except ours are much darker and kind of, I mean, they're kind of fucked up and they don't really make much sense, but they're cool and you should read them. Oh, this is a neat feature. This is called This Month Impossible Aliens. Just, just possible aliens. Not necessarily, these aren't necessarily the aliens, but it's a big universe. Oh, and at the end of the issue, you get a picture of an octopus wearing a sombrero. That's the sort of thing that you get uh, if you buy a print edition of Current Affairs and with a subscription you get six of those a year, so... I shouldn't have thrown that. You get six of these a year per if you buy the uh, $60. $60 sounds like a lot. It's a lot more than other magazines, but it's also better than pretty much every other magazine. It's really, really beautiful. Um, you know, you, you, you pick it up. You put it on your car. Oh, that's that's what I was thinking of. Coffee tables. You might own one. You might not own one. But if you do own one, what you do is you take one of these, you put it on the coffee table, you leave it there, 
when people come in, I mean, they don't come in at the moment because no one's allowed. To. When the whole world uh, gets back to normal, they come in, they look, they see a magazine on your coffee table, and they go, I see you're a current affairs reader. They will talk to you about it, and you might get to know them, and you might, you know, do things that people do together and get close, and it would be nice. So that's the sort of thing that can happen if you subscribe to Current Affairs, you put it on your coffee table, the covers are beautiful, all original artwork by uh, just superb, superb artists, uh, great writers. I'm biased because I'm the editor of the magazine, so I choose everything that goes in it, but I have very good judgment, and I can tell you, Every single thing in this magazine is very good. You should subscribe to it today. Anyway, welcome to our new video series. Nice to be- I'm not- I'm sorry, I'm hitting the desk. It's nice to be with you. I hope you're safe. Subscribe to Current Affairs, please do, because media organizations are losing jobs in the crisis. And it's very hard for a, um, I'm not supposed to say we're not for profit, because that's illegal. We don't make a profit. No one makes a profit. We're not, we don't. Nobody's making money off Current Affairs, let's put it that way. We're a tiny little magazine with small staff, and people like us find it very hard to make a living. Current, oh, this is the other, I forgot this. Very important. Current Affairs has no advertising. No advertising, no investors, no uh, sponsor, sponsored posts or advertorials. We are 100% user, uh, reader, subscriber, funders. So that's a really good thing. You'll never see every single page of this is a page for you, not a page to get you to buy something other than the magazine Current Affairs itself and sometimes the books we put out because we also put out books. Subscribe to the magazine. It's so good. It's so, so good. You'll really find that it's very, very good. I, I mean, just listen to what people say. People say, people who read this magazine, they get it, they look at it, they go, wow, it's really, really fucking good. That's what they say. That's what all of them say. Everyone who gets this magazine, they don't regret getting the magazine. You won't regret it. You really, really won't. You might think you'll regret it. You, you get your first issue, and when you're first, and now, granted, they are often very late, sometimes months late, but then you get it, and you go, wow, I didn't know I would get paper dolls where I can build my own centrist political candidate, or wow, I didn't know I would get, um, well, that's kind of a creepy picture of a brain, uh, but you get, you get that. Uh, ooh, uh, no, no, no. A flow chart. You get a flow chart. See, that's a cool flow chart. Uh, a map. You get a map. You know, this is a little spinny wheel. You can cut it out and spin it. So that's the sort of thing you get. No one regrets it. Subscribe to Current Affairs today. Thank you very much.